Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, here with some post-fight comments on the uh, heavyweight fight that took place yesterday between Robert Hellenius, or Hellenus, depending on the language, versus Sam Peter. Now, I know there's a lot of buzz about uh, Hellenius, who is six six and a half. He won yesterday's fight by knockout. I'm guessing that in a few months we're going to look back at this fight and we're going to say that Hellenius destroyed Sam Peter. Uh, Peter, after all, was left on the canvas unconscious, was knocked down twice. The second knockdown, the referee aborted the count because he was clearly unconscious. The ref could have counted to 30. Peter would not have beaten the count. Now, I believe the truth is a little bit more provocative than that. Let's talk about it because Hellenius, unbeaten heavyweight, uh, is being talked about as a possible opponent for the biggest names in the division. And we really do have to ask ourselves, what is this guy's skill set? Would this guy be a viable opponent against someone like Vitaly Klitschko? And keep in mind, I don't believe anybody in boxing is invincible. I, in fact, said that the last Klitschko fight, his fight against Adlanir Solis, uh, was a toss-up going in. And so um, I like to look at these contenders and ask myself legitimately, how good is the guy? Well, let's talk about what I saw in the fight yesterday. Um, Hellenius, as big as he is, as strong as he is, and he has a huge punch, right? This is a guy who stopped Lehman Brewster. He stopped Sam Peter. Huge punch. But yet he doesn't fight inside. In fact, I thought Peter won several of the rounds. The pattern I saw in the fight, and the film is up on YouTube, so you can watch the fight yourself, was Peter coming forward, Hellenius backing up, Right? Hellenius then, when Peter got inside, skillfully tying him up. Right? Hellenius is a master clincher. Uh, the way he stopped Peter from going to town on his body was when Peter, the shorter man, I believe Peter's around 6'2", when Peter got inside, Hellenius just stepped forward and tied him up. Now, um, I believe that creates several questions uh, about Robert Hellenius. Uh, the first is if he's fighting a guy his size or taller. In other words, if he's fighting Vitaly Klitschko, and I'm sure Hellenius wants to be heavyweight champion of the world, the question is would he be able to tie up Klitschko like he's been able to tie up shorter men like um, you know, Atala Levin, um, Lehman Brewster, and Sam Peter. In other words, if Vitaly comes up close to him and starts to get inside, what is Hellenius' next move? Right? Because we know he's not comfortable fighting inside. And Sam Peter, um, Hellenius did a great job tying him up, but Sam Peter's not the kind of guy who's going to use lateral movement to bounce to the side to keep one hand free to make the job of tying him up very hard. Let's just say Sam Peter is not agile like Manny Pacquiao, right? He's not agile like Bernard Hopkins, right? You can literally just reach forward and tie him up. What happens when... Hellenius is facing someone like Vitaly, who fights long, right? He's hard to reach as it is. He's also turned to the side, right? He always has his right hand cocked. His, whatever he's doing with his left, whether it's a jab or what have you, Vitaly Klitschko always has his right hand cocked. He's always ready to throw that overhand right or right cross. So if you reach forward to tie him up, and keep in mind he's making it hard for you because he has his entire body in the way, right? Vitaly doesn't stand in front of you like Sam Peter. 
He's actually turned to the side. He even kicks his left hand out a little bit. So if you come forward to tie him up, you're going to have to grab a shoulder or something like that. Very hard to do. And of course, Vitaly, who's taller than almost everyone he fights, Vitaly has that right hand cock. So if you tie up most of his body, he can still turn around and hit you with a straight right or a right hook. So I really have to wonder, what does Selenius do if Vitaly Klitschko gets up close on him aggressively like he did Adlinir Solis, right? Vitaly has his left hand dangling in that fight, is aggressively pursuing Solis around the ring, even has Solis up on the ropes in that first round, right? Solis throws an excellent counter right but the point is what does Hellenius do since he's backing up from slower moving guys like Sam Peter what does he do when he has a bigger more agile faster moving heavyweight in front of him who's harder to tie up and who's his size and who if you don't tie up could easily hit you with the right hand that might end the fight let me also say too that uh, those who've watched Vladimir uh, Klitschko's career know that Vladimir Klitschko's best attribute, forget all the power and all that other stuff, his best attribute, in my opinion, the thing that really does separate him from most of the heavyweights out there, are his feet. It's his foot speed. Vladimir Klitschko can get around the ring quickly for a big guy who weighs well more than 200 it's startling how well he moves take a look at the 12th round of him against Eddie Chambers when he realizes that the fight's about to end and he wants to get the knockout um, look at how well he covers ground and look at how much ground he covers right you know that left hook that takes out Eddie uh, seems to come from the middle of the ring Right? Vladimir Klitschko really can hit you from distance. He can move. Now, against a guy like Robert Hellenius, you really have to ask yourself, um, is Robert going to be able to tie up Vladimir Klitschko? Not only that, who, fighting from the outside, do you know, has beaten Vladimir Klitschko? Um, the minute a guy can't come inside on Vladimir Klitschko, the minute the guy is at the end of Vladimir Klitschko's jab, he's in bad shape. He's in big trouble. Now, Robert Hellenius does have an excellent jab, right? But it's not as good as Vladimir Klitschko's jab. And my point to you is, since I don't think Hellenius can get inside, <coughs> I actually think, uh, fighter like Vladimir Klitschko could literally pepper him to death outside then start to come over the top with his right hand in other words even though Hellenius is six six and a half since he's an outside fighter I think that leaves him vulnerable to jabbers like Vladimir Klitschko um, let me also say too I am very impressed with um, Hellenius's balance, but I'm not that impressed with his volume. I know I'm sounding hard. Um, you can tell me if you agree or disagree. But during the um, Sam Peter fight, in fact, if you look at Hellenius's fights going back, you're going to see that there are lulls in the fight. In other words, Hellenius doesn't throw the volume of someone like a Vitaly Klitschko or a Vladimir Klitschko, right? There are lulls in his fights. Uh, he was getting outworked yesterday by Sam Peter. You know, a knockout erases a lot of memories, both for the guy who gets knocked out and for fans. All we remember is one guy going down, staying down, um, and then, you know, to the victor goes the spoils. We're in his corner. We're saying, wow, great knockout. Wow, you dominated the fight. My point to you is before that knockout, it looked to me like Robert Hellenius was getting outworked. And um, it, it just looked to me like he needed to pace himself 
He wasn't the kind of fighter who could really fight frantic rounds. Well, my point to you is, Vitaly Klitschko could make a round awfully frantic. You know, that first round against Adlinir Solis, you know, look at Vitaly Klitschko's left hand. It's dangling by his waist. He's literally daring Solis to hit him. He wants to trade. He wants a shootout. You know, let me tell you, too, take a look at the latter rounds of uh, his fight against Chris Ariola. The fight where Ariola's corner threw in the towel. You know, Vitaly's hitting Ariola with a bevy of big shots. He actually wants to lift the tempo of the fight. Ariola, who is a guy who has great stamina, actually looks tired, actually looks winded. You know, the pace is a little bit too intense for him because with Vitaly, you always have to be vigilant because he's aggressive, right? His guard is down. He's threatening to hit you with the right hand. He's coming forward. You throw punches. He doesn't back away and wait for you to reset. He literally blocks them with his arms, and then he's right back at you. Can Robert Hellenius handle that pace? Uh, can he keep up with the Vitaly Klitschko? I have to tell you, as of April the 3rd, 2011, I don't think he can. Uh, if he were to sign to fight Vitaly Klitschko or Vladimir Klitschko, <clears throat> um, I have to tell you, I'd probably go with the Klitschkos in that one. Let me also say, too, <clears throat> and I know this fighter uh, has fought some questionable fights, but Alexander Demetrenko, you really wonder if he uses height and shoots a jab from distance and stays outside and keeps moving against Robert Hellenius, who's not going to be able to cut off the ring against him, will Hellenius be able to beat Alexander Demetrenko? I think that, too, is an open question. Keep in mind, Hellenius only has 15 pro fights. So if we're going to elevate this guy to the forefront of the heavyweight division. If we're going to say that this guy is a worthy championship opponent, then these are the kind of questions to focus on. I encourage everyone to watch the Sam Peter fight. Tell me whether Hellenius is the one cutting off the ring. Tell me whether he actually gets inside. Tell me what he does when Sam Peter gets inside. And also tell me if you consider Sam Peter to be <clears throat> a very quick heavyweight with very cat-like moves to, you know, and a um, pace that's fast. Before this fight, did you think that Sam Peter could outwork his opponent, right? These are troubling questions. These are the questions that have to be asked. I'd take Vitaly Klitschko over Robert Hellenius. I would take Vladimir Klitschko over Robert Hellenius. Let me say this, though. Hellenius does have the kind of punch where any bet you make in a Hellenius fight has to be straddled against Hellenius by knockout. He does have one-punch punching power, one-punch knockout power. This is The Wire, GamblersAdvisory.com. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here at, on YouTube and visit us at GamblersAdvisory.com. Thanks for watching.